Hi, it's me. Welcome to part two of the on key press event from about a year ago. This time I'm going to be showing you basically everything I did in the event zone part two, but for the on key press script. So let's get started. You may notice that we are no longer in the sky with some platforms, but if you look over here, you'll see the new and improved tutorial area. So in room one, we have today's script, the on key press script, and also some text which you can read if you want to. Done? Okay, good. So right now, Q, E, and R don't do anything. So how do we get them to work? With this script right here. But this isn't anything new, we've already covered this. But you know what is new though? These scripts. Believe it or not, I actually created these two scripts all by myself. Granted, they're almost identical to the original ones. But my point still stands. If you want these scripts, you'll be able to find them in my GitHub. Link in the description. I'm sure everyone knows how to get a script from GitHub, but just in case you don't, that's too bad. Anyway, now that you have the script, here's what you want to do. Create an empty game object, I'm sorting mine under a parent called mechanics, and drag the appropriate script onto it. For example, I want to show the bed when I press Q, so I'll just have the default on key press script. Now, click the drop down and scroll down until you find Q. Click that, now press the plus on the event, and drag in, in my case, the bed. Now, click this drop down and hover over game object, and finally, click set active bool and check the box. And we're mostly done with this already. Next step is to make it disappear when we press E. So that calls for another on key press, so just follow the same steps until the very end, and just uncheck the box. And that's all there is to it. As you can see, when I press Q, it shows the bed, and when I press E, it hides it. You can see what I'm pressing down in the bottom left corner, by the way. Now for the creepy guy, it's relatively the same. So we want to show him when R is held down and hide him when we let go. For this, I'm going to use what I'm calling on key both. It's just like on key down and on key up, but just in the same script. So create another empty, I'm calling this one creepy guy, and drag on the on key both script. And as you can see, it's the same as before, but just with two events, one for pressing and one for letting go. So for the key, it's going to be R, so just scroll down until you find it. And for the first one, I want to make him appear. And for the second one, I want him to disappear. Easy as that. So to recap, we can press Q to show the bed and E to hide the bed. And if we're holding R, then a creepy man appears for the duration of holding it. Very nice. Now if I was more knowledgeable about coding and the likes, I could probably tell you that you could also make a super simple sprint mechanic, but I'm not. Also that just sounds like the easiest thing you could do in C Sharp, it's just like on key down, curly brackets indent, speed equals a higher number, on key up, curly brackets indent, speed equals the original number, right? Anyway, nonetheless, you could do a surprising amount with this method. Want a sound effect to play when you hold and or let go of a key? Done. Maybe, you could create a cube and a plane, the cube being a rigid body that's kinematic, and the plane being a trigger, and then give the cube an animation slowly moving towards the plane, and set it to play when you're holding a key, and snap back to the beginning, or even pause and play another animation when you let go, so that if you hold a key for long enough, something happens. By the way, this is the outro, uh, I, I don't have any more footage to show you, so uh, yeah. Hey, while you're here, you might as well subscribe.